My name is Elias Lobin. I'm a dealer and an expert of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com where you could find at the time of the filming of this film 6,800 items, over that amount actually. Every item I sell comes complete with a certificate of authenticity. Of course, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity and my signature. Let me tell you that I'm an expert known worldwide for having identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts. The coins specifically uh, come in a beautiful flip that protects the coin for future generations to come, yet makes it easy for you to look at it. Really enjoy it. You could take the, the coin separately in the flip and carry, around, carry it around with you in your wallet, let's say. And uh, the certificate and the, and the miniaturized description has a number that matches each other. The, the description is professionally done, many times citing a major reference or collection. And on the back you get the historical context of the item you purchased. So even if you're brand new to the collecting field, or if you would like to make a gift that's much better than some mass manufactured uh, modern thing, this makes a beautiful gift and also to the best of my belief it's the best investment out there because most people don't even know it exists and most people don't even know that they could get such high quality of service from me so visit my site Trusted Coins for that today I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Constantine the second Constantine the second looked like this this is Constantine the second some emperors have had their statues survive some other ones maybe not so much but this is Constantine the second I have coins of Emperor Constantine II in my store. He was, by the way, the son of Constantine the I, who was known as Constantine the Great. So let me tell you about Constantine the Second. Constantine the Second was Roman Emperor from 337 to 340 AD. Co-Emperor alongside his brothers, his short reign saw the beginnings of conflict emerge between the sons of Constantine the Great and his attempt to exert his perceived rights of primogeniture ended up causing his death in a failed invasion of Italy in 340 AD. The eldest possibly illegitimate son of Constantine the Great after the deaths of his half-brother Crispus, he was born at Arles on February, in February 316 AD and raised as a Christian. On 1st of March 317, Constantine was made Caesar, and at the age of 7 and 323, took part of his father's campaign against the Sarmatians. At the age of 10, he became commander of Gaul and followed the deaths of Crispus. In 330, he got the title of Alemannicus, because his generals won a victory over the Alemanni. His military career continued when Constantine chose his son, field commander during the 332 AD campaign against the Goths. Following the deaths of his father in 337, Constantine II initially became emperor jointly with his brothers, Constantius II and Constans. With the empire divided between them and their cousins, the Caesars Dalmatius and Hannibalianus, of, of course whom I have all coins of, you may want to check that out. This arrangement barely survived Constantine I's death, with the sons of Constantine arranging the slaughter of most of the family of Constantine I at the hands of the army. As a result, the three brothers gathered together in Pannonia, and there on 9th of September 337 AD divided the Roman world between themselves. Constantine II proclaimed Augustus by the troops received Gaul, Britain, and Hispania. Division of the Roman Empire among the Caesars appointed by Constantine the first from left to right the territories of Constantine the second Constans the Matthias and Constantius the second after the death of Constantine the first May 337 AD this was the formal division of the empire until the Matthias was killed and his territory divided between Constans and Constantius Constantine the second was soon involved in the struggle between the different Christian streams and that were recat rupturing the unity of the Christian Church. The western portion of the empire, under the influence of the popes in Rome, leaned towards Catholicism and against Arianism. And through their intercession, they convinced Constantine II to free Athenisius, allowing him to return to Alexandria. This action aggravated Constantius II, and he was 
a committed supporter of Arianism. At first, he was the guardian of the younger brother Constance, whose portion was Ita Italia, Africa, and Illyricum. Constantine II soon complained that he had not received the amount of territory that was his due, stemming from his position as the eldest of Constantine's sons. Annoyed that Constance had received Thrace in Macedonia after the deaths of Dalmatius, Constantine II demanded that Constance hand over the African provinces, which, in order to maintain a fragile peace, he agreed to do. Soon, however, they began quarreling over the parts of the African provinces belonged to Carthage and thus Constantine II and what which belonged to Italy, and therefore Constance. Additionally, complications also arose when Constance came of age, and Constantine II was, had grown used to dominating his younger brother, would not relinquish the guardianship. Therefore, in 340, he marched into Italy at the head of his troops. Constance at the, Constance at the time in Dacia detached and sent a select and disciplined body of Illyrian troops, stating that he would follow them in person with the remainder of his forces. Constantine II was engaged in military operations around Aquileia, and he was killed in an ambush in Servigno del Friuli. Constance took control of his deceased brother's realm. So by coins of Constantine II, Constance, Constantine the Great, and a bunch of others at trustedcoins.com. Thank you.